In this video, we'd like to showcase and recommend five books that amplify Asian American and Pacific Islander voices. The first book we have is called I Dream of Popo. This is a beautiful book showcasing the cross-generational bond between a granddaughter and her popo. When her family emigrate from Taiwan to the US, so much feels unfamiliar, like the language, and what's missing are the everyday interactions with her popo. As she grows and adapts to her new life, she learns that the love and connection between her and popo remains unchanged. Lakshmi's Mooch. The world of children's literature has needed this book. Lakshmi starts noticing her body hair, and at first, she's alarmed. Then her parents give her an incredible look at the powerful women and girls who have body hair just like her, and she feels empowered. Suddenly, everyone is noticing the hair above their lips and down their arms, and it's cool. This joyful and body positive book is a true delight. Drawn Together. This is another cross-generational story about the connections between a grandfather and his grandson. They speak different languages, like different foods, and don't have the same taste in television. They're frustrated and wonder if they'll ever be able to get along until they discover they have something really special in common that transcends all barriers. A Big Mooncake for Little Star. This book will resonate with anyone who has ever been tempted to sneak a bite of a delicious treat before it's time. This sweet story about a little girl and her mom's delicious mooncake also cleverly displays the phases of the moon. The author was inspired to write this story after her favorite Asian holiday, the Mid-Autumn Moon Festival, and hopes the story captures its quiet joy, love, and beauty. Outside, Inside. This thoughtful and beautifully detailed and illustrated book captures so many of the feelings and experiences that have defined this past year's pandemic. Some people went inside to keep themselves and others safe, yet others had to continue working outside to help take care of us and make sure we had what we needed. Everyone's felt a little different, but time has marched on. Children continued to grow when seasons came and went. According to the author, this is a recording of the daily acts of kindness and humanity made by everyday people. A reminder of when the world came together as one to do the right thing. We hope you enjoy these books and read them all year long.